Now let's discuss question number 61. It states that let P, Q, R, S, T be 5 consecutive terms in an AP such that you have P plus Q plus R plus S plus T equal to 40. Then the value of R is equal to one of these options. So let's try to find an answer to this. You know that when there are 5 terms in an AP, you can possibly consider them as A minus 2D, A minus T, A, A plus D and A plus 2D. So this could be possibly P, Q, R, S and T and it has been already provided that their sum total is equal to 40. Now if we consider this equation you will find that all the terms of D will get cancelled and this equation will simplify to 5A equal to 40 which ultimately results the value of A as 8. So value of A has been obtained in this question you need to figure out the value of R. Here you can see that R is A that means the value of R is 8. So we can clearly mark here the correct answer as option number 2 which is 8. So answer for this question is option 2. I hope it's clear to you. Let's take up now question number 62. Here I have question number 62 which states in a quadrilateral PQRS if the sum of exterior angle of angle Q and angle R is 270 degrees then the value of PR square minus QR square is always equal to one of these options where first option is twice of PS square second one is QS square minus PS square third one is thrice of QS square minus twice of PS square while fourth one is PS square minus QS square. So let's focus on this question very first we are talking here about the quadrilateral PQRS where the sum of exterior angle Q and exterior angle R is equal to 270 degrees. If I extend the side QP and RS then you can find that they will meet at some point T. Moreover we are talking about the sum of exterior angle of angle Q and angle R. So in this case here you will get the exterior angle Q and here you will get the exterior angle R. So clearly the sum of these two linear pair angles is 180 degrees and sum of these two linear pair angles is also 180 degrees. 180 plus 180 gives me the total as 360 degrees. That means even if I consider this angle and this angle together, this will give me the sum total of interior angles Q and R and exterior angles of Q and R equal to 360 degrees. Where it is already been mentioned that the sum of exterior angles that is x and y is 270 degrees. Let us take up this as small p and small q. So you know that p plus q plus x plus y will be 360 degrees because these are linear pair angles where already x plus y this value is 270 degrees this gives me p plus q equal to 360 degrees minus 270 degrees that is 90 degrees. So p plus q is equal to 90 degrees. So if we consider this triangle TQR in triangle TQR if I consider this angle to be x, x plus p plus q will be definitely equal to 180 degrees where already you have obtained that p plus q is 90 degrees which results x as equal to 90 degrees. So this is a right angle triangle this angle is measuring 90 degrees. So now this angle is measuring 90 degrees that makes triangle QTR as a right triangle. Now if we are talking about a right triangle Pythagoras theorem can be easily applicable in this triangle now. So in this question we need to figure out the value of PR and QR. So let us join here PR. After joining PR you can see this angle T is 90 degree. If I just consider triangle RTP in triangle RTP Pythagoras theorem can be easily applied and if you apply here Pythagoras theorem then you are going to get here in triangle TPR on application of Pythagoras theorem PR is hypotenuse you get here PR square is equal to TP square plus TR square. So this is through Pythagoras theorem. 
In the question next you need to obtain QR square. I need to consider this triangle TQR. So, in triangle TQR you will obtain here QR square is equal to TR square plus TQ square. TR square plus TQ square. So, this is quite clear for you. Next, let us simplify this and try to obtain PR square minus QR square. So, we got to take the difference of these two as per the requirement of question. On taking difference of these two, I am getting PR square minus QR square is equal to TP square plus TR square minus TR square minus TQ square and you can see this simplifies to the value TP square minus TQ square. So, I am getting this quantity TP square minus TQ square which could be written as PT square minus QT square. So, this is the obtained value of PR square minus QR square. But when we observe the options provided to us, they include QS or PS. So, we need to express our answer which is right now in terms of PT and QT in terms of PS and QS. So, let us observe this figure again. Here we need QS as well as PS. So, answer is in terms of PT. Here TPS is also a right angle triangle. As TPS is a right angle triangle, so in triangle TPS you will definitely obtain that PS square is equal to PT square plus ST square. Through this you can get here PT square. PT square can be written as PS square minus ST square. Next we also need here the value of QT. So next if you join here QS you will obtain here another right angle triangle TQS because angle T is 90 degree. So next you can write here in triangle TQS further moving on to triangle QTS you can write in triangle QTS you definitely get through that we have QS square equal to ST square plus QT square. We have QS square equal to ST square plus QT square. With this I will be getting the value of QT. So, this gives me QT square is equal to QS square minus ST square. So, let this be equation number 1. We have obtained here the value of QT square and earlier here we have obtained the value of PT square. Let us substitute that in this equation number 1. On substituting that in equation number 1, it gives me now that I have PR square minus QR square equal to PT square. PT square can be written as PS square minus ST square and I have QT square. Minus of QT square will give me here minus QS square minus minus plus ST square. You can see ST square gets cancelled and reduces to the value PS square minus QS square. So, this is the required quantity that I wanted. Here I had to express PR square minus QR square in terms of PS and QS. So, now we have obtained the required answer for this question as per the given options. So, we can clearly say that PR square minus QR square is always equal to PS square minus QS square which is present here in option number 4. You can mark here the required answer for this question as option 4. I hope this question is clear to you. Now, let us take up question number 63. Here this question states which of the following divides the line joining the points P and Q and in the ratio 2 is to 5. So, very first we need to find the lines which will be dividing this line segment PQ in the ratio 2 is to 5 out of these given options. So, I am considering here this line segment P and Q, point P has coordinates minus 4, 2 while point Q has coordinates 8, 3. There could be possibly n number of lines which will divide it in the ratio 2 is to 5. Let us consider there lies a point on this line segment and I am considering this is point R which is dividing it in the ratio 2 is to 5. Let us take that R has the coordinates x, y. Now, through this point R, infinite number of lines can pass through and all those lines will divide 
this given line in the ratio 2 is to 5. So, using section formula, let us try to obtain x and y. So, if I use here section formula, x will be equal to 5 into minus 4 plus 2 into 8 upon 2 plus 5. You can clearly see this will be further simplified and when you simplify this minus 20 plus 16 minus 4 upon 7. So, I am getting here minus 4 upon 7 x is minus 4 upon 7 next talking about y coordinate here this is equal to 5 into 2 that is 10 plus I have 2 into 3 that is 6 upon 2 plus 5. So, this is 10 plus 6 16 upon 7. So, now x and y coordinates are obtained for the point r. So, whichever lines equation satisfies this case and that will be definitely the required equation of the line. If I substitute in equation a x as minus 4 upon 7, then that completely satisfies the equation of line. So, this point r definitely lies on this line a. Talking about this line b, if I substitute y as 16 upon 7, this will also satisfy this equation. That means, here this is also the equation of the line which is dividing line segment p q in the ratio 2 is to 5. So, both of them are satisfying this condition. If both of them are satisfying this condition, then that clearly gives me an idea that out of these four options, the line which divides line segment p q in the ratio 2 is to 5 is both a and b, which is clearly given in option number 3. So, this is the required answer for this question. You can mark your answer as option 3. I hope it is clear. Let us proceed ahead to our next question.